Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel, fish cakes, seasoned and fried balls of fish and spices, usually served with a tangy sauce. Fish cakes are a popular Caribbean dish enjoyed in various regions, including the British Virgin Islands. These savory snacks are made from seasoned fish, typically salted cod, saltfish, combined with herbs, spices, and other ingredients, then formed into patties and fried until golden and crispy. Here's a basic recipe for making fish cakes. Ingredients. One pound salted cod, salt fish, soaked and deboned, two cups mashed potatoes, one onion, finely chopped two cloves garlic, minced one teaspoon thyme, chopped one teaspoon hot pepper sauce or scotch bonnet pepper, minced, optional, one teaspoon baking powder, one to two cup flour, plus extra for dredging. One egg, beaten salt and black pepper to taste vegetable oil for frying instructions. Preparing the salted cod. Rinse the salted cod under cold water to remove excess salt. Place the salted cod in a bowl and cover it with cold water. Let it soak for several hours or overnight in the refrigerator, changing the water several times to reduce the saltiness. Once soaked, drain and rinse the cod again. Boil it in water for about 10-15 minutes until tender. Drain and allow it to cool. Once cooled, flake the cod, removing any bones and skin. Set aside. Making the fish cakes. In a mixing bowl, combine the flaked salted cod, mashed potatoes, chopped onion, minced garlic, chopped thyme, hot pepper sauce, if using, baking powder, flour, beaten egg, salt and black pepper. Mix until well combined. Shape the mixture into small patties or cakes, about two to three inches in diameter and one two inch thick. Place some additional flour on a plate. Dredge each fish cake in the flour, coating it evenly on both sides and shaking off any excess. Heat vegetable oil in a frying pan over medium high heat. Carefully place the fish cakes in the hot oil, working in batches to avoid overcrowding the pan. Fry for about three to four minutes per side or until they turn golden brown and crispy. Once cooked, remove the fish cakes from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain excess oil. Serve the fish cakes hot, accompanied by a dipping sauce or condiment of your choice, such as tartar sauce or a spicy pepper sauce. Fish cakes are a flavorful and satisfying snack or appetizer, perfect for enjoying the flavors of the Caribbean. Adjust the seasonings and level of heat to suit your preferences. Banana fritters, slices of banana coated in batter and fried until golden and crispy. Banana fritters are a delightful sweet treat made by frying slices of ripe bananas coated in batter until they're crispy and golden brown. Here's a simple recipe to make banana fritters. Ingredients. Three ripe bananas, one cup all-purpose flour, two tablespoons granulated sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, one four teaspoon salt, one two teaspoon ground cinnamon, optional, one four cup milk, dairy or plant-based, one teaspoon vanilla extract, vegetable oil for frying, powdered sugar, optional for dusting. Instructions. Peel the ripe bananas and slice them into rounds or diagonal pieces. In a mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, baking powder, salt, and ground cinnamon, if using. Add the milk and vanilla extract to the dry ingredients and whisk until you achieve a smooth batter. Adjust the consistency by adding a little more milk if needed. The batter should coat the banana slices evenly, but not be too runny. Heat vegetable oil in a frying pan or skillet over medium heat. Dip the banana slices into the batter, ensuring they are well coated. Carefully place the coated banana slices into the hot oil. Fry them in batches, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry the banana fritters for about two, three minutes on each side or until they turn golden brown and crispy. Once cooked, remove the banana fritters from the oil using a slotted spoon and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to absorb excess oil. Optional, dust the banana fritters with powdered sugar for additional sweetness before serving. Serve the banana fritters warm as a delightful dessert or snack. These banana fritters are a fantastic way to use up ripe bananas and create a delicious treat.
They're crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, with a lovely sweetness from the bananas. Enjoy them on their own or with a scoop of ice cream for an extra indulgence. Adjust the sweetness by varying the amount of sugar according to your taste preferences. Pumpkin soup. A hearty soup made with pumpkin, vegetables, and sometimes meat. Pumpkin soup is a comforting and flavorful dish enjoyed in various cuisines worldwide, including the Caribbean. Here's a simple recipe for making Caribbean-style pumpkin soup. Ingredients. Two tablespoons butter or olive oil, one onion, chopped two cloves garlic, minced one medium-sized pumpkin, about two, three pounds, peeled, seeded, and diced, four cups vegetable or chicken broth, one can, 13.5 ounces, coconut milk, one teaspoon ground ginger, one two teaspoon ground nutmeg, salt and pepper to taste, fresh cilantro or parsley for garnish, optional. Instructions. In a large pot or Dutch oven, melt the butter or heat the olive oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onion and minced garlic to the pot. Saute until the onions are translucent and fragrant, about three to four minutes. Add the diced pumpkin to the pot and stir well with the onions and garlic. Pour in the vegetable or chicken broth, covering the pumpkin. Bring the mixture to a gentle boil, reduce the heat to low, cover the pot and simmer for about 20-25 minutes or until the pumpkin is tender and easily pierced with a fork. Using an immersion blender or regular blender in batches, Puree the soup until smooth and creamy. Be careful when blending hot liquids. Return the pureed soup to the pot, if using a regular blender, and place it over low heat. Stir in the coconut milk, ground ginger, and ground nutmeg. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Simmer for an additional five to 10 minutes to allow the flavors to meld. Once done, remove the pot from the heat. Serve the pumpkin soup hot. Garnish each serving with a sprinkle of fresh cilantro or parsley if desired. This Caribbean-style pumpkin soup offers a rich and creamy texture with the natural sweetness of pumpkin complemented by the coconut milk and warm spices. It's a comforting and nutritious soup that's perfect for cooler days or as a starter for a hearty meal. Adjust the seasonings according to your taste preferences and enjoy the flavors of this delicious soup. Lobster rolls, Succulent lobster meat served in a roll or bun with seasonings and sauces. Here's a basic recipe for preparing classic main-style lobster rolls. Ingredients. One one two pounds cooked lobster meat chopped into bite-sized pieces. You can use a combination of claw, knuckle, and tail meat. One three cup mayonnaise. Two three tablespoons lemon juice, freshly squeezed salt and pepper to taste four to six split-top hot dog buns or New England-style rolls, two to three tablespoons unsalted butter, softened chopped fresh chives or parsley, optional, for garnish, lettuce leaves, optional. Instructions. Prepare the lobster. If you haven't already, cook your lobster. Boiling or steaming are common methods. Once cooked, Remove the meat from the shells and chop it into bite-sized pieces. Ensure there are no shell fragments left in the meat. Make the dressing. In a mixing bowl, combine the chopped lobster meat with mayonnaise, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Adjust the seasoning according to your taste preferences. Stir gently to coat the lobster meat evenly with the dressing. Optionally, add chopped fresh chives or parsley for added flavor. Prepare the buns, spread softened butter onto the sides of each split-top hot dog bun. Toast them in a skillet or on a griddle until they're lightly golden and crispy. Assemble the rolls. If using, line the buns with lettuce leaves. Then, fill each bun generously with the prepared lobster mixture. Serve. Plate the lobster rolls and garnish with additional chopped herbs if desired. Accompany them with sides like coleslaw, potato chips, or french fries for a complete meal. Tips. For the freshest and most flavorful lobster rolls, use freshly cooked lobster meat. You can cook the lobster yourself or buy pre-cooked lobster meat from a trusted source. Adjust the amount of mayonnaise and lemon juice to achieve your desired consistency and flavor for the dressing. Experiment with additional seasonings or herbs like tarragon, celery salt, or paprika, 
to add extra depth to the lobster filling. Enjoy the lobster rolls immediately after assembling to savor their flavors at their best. This recipe captures the essence of a classic main style lobster roll, but feel free to customize it to suit your taste preferences. Coconut tarts, dessert tarts filled with sweet coconut filling. Coconut tarts are delightful pastries filled with a sweet, creamy, and coconut-infused filling. Here's a recipe to make these delicious treats. Ingredients For the pastry crust, 1 1 2 cups all-purpose flour, 1 2 cup unsalted butter, chilled and cut into small cubes, 1 4 cup granulated sugar, 1 large egg yolk, 2 3 tablespoons cold water. For the coconut filling, 1 1 2 cups shredded sweetened coconut, 1 2 cup granulated sugar, 2 3 cup coconut milk, 2 large eggs, 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, pinch of salt. Instructions Making the pastry crust Prepare the pastry dough. In a food processor, pulse the flour and sugar together. Add the chilled butter cubes and pulse until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Add the egg yolk. Add the egg yolk and pulse again. Gradually add cold water, one tablespoon at a time, and pulse until the dough comes together. Be careful not to overwork the dough. It should hold together when pinched. Chill the dough. Shape the dough into a disc, wrap it in plastic wrap, and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 350 Taish, 175 Dixi. Grease a muffin tin or tart molds. Roll out the dough. On a floured surface, roll out the chilled dough to about one to eight inch thickness. Use a round cutter or a glass that is slightly larger than your tart molds to cut out circles of dough. Gently press the circles into the prepared molds, ensuring they cover the bottom and sides. Trim any excess dough. Blind bake the crusts. Line each tart shell with parchment paper and fill with pie weights or dried beans. Bake for about 10-12 minutes until the edges are lightly golden. Remove the weights and parchment paper, then return to the oven for an additional 3-4 minutes until the bottoms are set. Remove from the oven and let the tart shells cool slightly. Making the coconut filling. Prepare the filling mixture. In a mixing bowl, combine the shredded coconut, sugar, coconut milk, eggs, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Mix well until thoroughly combined. Fill the tart shells. Spoon the coconut filling into the partially baked tart shells, filling them almost to the top. Bake the tarts. Place the filled tart shells back into the oven and bake for about 15-20 minutes, or until the filling is set and the tops are lightly golden brown. Cool and serve. Remove the coconut tarts from the oven and allow them to cool in the tart molds for a few minutes. Carefully transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely before serving.